tragedy has struck London many times before. But just before four of these occasions, a floating white ball of energy with heavenly silk floating at its side was seen above the River Thames. Was this buzzing ball bringing, or was it warning us of the dangers London would face? Join me today as we explore the legend that is the Angel of the Thames. We all know it's when we see it. Resilience. What do you think of? Perhaps the kid who cuts their knee during a game but gets straight back up regardless. Or a fabled war hero who completes their mission despite impossible odds. For me, it's Douglas Bader, a flying ace who lost both his legs before World War II. But out of the outbreak of war flew mission after mission over enemy territory, leading men and refusing to sit idly by. I've been discovering that Bader, Sir Douglas Bader, defines resilience like few people in history. And I want to find out more. Can a young person have wisdom? The combination of knowledge, experience and good judgment. But of course, we all know that struggle between the cacophony of our thoughts versus the guiding pulse of our hearts. And can wisdom be found by finding a nice balance in between the two? Well, come with me today as we find out. When I was at school, I found it really tough. Sitting down hour after hour, listening and trying to learn and remember. Got me down, blue and sad. Until I left and met other people who felt the same way. Some who could write pages and pages but found it hard to talk to others. And those who couldn't read a word but could recite Shakespeare like William himself. Today, together, we'll be talking to people with those experiences and seeing just how different all of us are, whilst also learning how each and every one of us is uniquely brilliant in our own way. Thank you for watching today. I hope we enjoyed. Now from me, Henry, goodbye. <laughs>